Hello everyone, this is Momita and welcome back to Food Values. Today we will be discussing about meat cooking or processing methods. How we should choose them and what are the changes that happens once the meat is cooked. After that, how we should take care of our cooked meat so that they are safe whenever we eat them. Now, based on the tenderness of the meat, if the meat is tough or hard, that happens when the animals are slaughtered, when they are old. So when our meat is tough, hard, we should always go for moist heat cooking method because in those cooking methods water is used to cook like pressure cooking boiling so so water makes the meat more soft and tender so it becomes more palatable next if the meat is younger or tender in that case we have lots of option we can go for dry heat cooking methods like grilling, frying, baking. We can also go for moist heat cooking method. So if the meat is tender, we have lots of options. Next, if the meat is tender cut, that means the animal has been given enough rest to or to relax before they are slaughtered. In they, those cases, meat is again tender and we have, we can cook them in whichever method we want but if again the animal has not been given enough rest before their slaughter in those cases meat is tough and we have to choose the moist heat cooking method and moist heat cooking methods can be like pressure cooking boiling steaming so whatever the cooking method we choose we should always choose the low heat and long time cooking method because low heat and long time cooking will not cause much damage to the nutrients in the meat and we are able to get most of the benefits from it. So if we look into the benefits that we are getting from meat once they are cooked then we can say that meat becomes really very palatable, soft once they are cooked. They, they are rich in nutrients that becomes really available to us. Our body can digest them. Fat melts. So meat becomes soft. Color of the meat improves. So they look, look good. Flavor improves. Microorganisms are destroyed. Proteins. Proteins are broken down into smaller molecules, so they are easily digested in our body. So, we should always try to cook our meat using low heat and longer time. If I have to cook meat for my baby who is almost two years old, I would always prefer pressure cooking. So, it will be easy to digest. Next, now if we have to store meat at home, we can use airtight containers. So in that way, we can keep meat safe in our refrigerator for about a month where the temperature is around 37 to 40 degree Fahrenheit. But if we open the lid and take meat out, often in that case, we cannot consider it as a sealed storage so the seal is broken we are taking out in that case meat will not be safe for a month rather it will start deteriorating after four or five days in that case we have to move it to freezer where the temperature is zero degree fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees celsius where we can expect our meat to stay safe for maximum six months Another thing is when we want to eat meat by taking it out 
from freeze or freezer we have to heat it to really boiling so that the inner core of the meat or the center of the food reaches to temperature 165 degree so it becomes really hot in that in that case only we can relax that yes the microorganisms present in the air or on the meat are killed because microorganisms are present everywhere even in freeze freezer they are just inactive in the freezer or freeze so as soon as we take them out they immediately it starts to deteriorate or the quality of the meat so we have to really quick enough and heat them to high temperature uh, so the same thing is repeated when we take raw meat out from the freeze or freezer we have to be first to thaw them and then cure them with salt sugar or whatever spice we want to add and then we have to cook them within two hours no not more than two hours any meat should be exposed in air be it raw be it cooked maximum time that we can give them in air or room temperature is two hours so that's how we should take care of meat we can stay safe we can stay healthy so take care bye bye